Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShark.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Today I'm showing off the final software for this little DIY kit. It is a, it is a servo motor uh, controller DIY kit. It's the its, it's function is very simple. Uh, it uh, there's actually two programs: one sensory mode, one mom momentary mode. I'm going to show you momentary mode first. Um, and what momentary mode is is uh, when you apply a five volt signal via the signal line to five, a regulated 5 volts, the um, servo motor will switch states by 90 degrees. And if I do it again, it'll switch it back. So if I, uh, there's two jumpers here on the left, high, low, on the right, uh, P1, P2. If I take my two pin header connector for the high, low jumper and I connect it to the left two pins, low, what happens is, is once I start it up, once I power it on, the servo motor, motor glitches, software corrects it to the zero degree state. So I'll power it up zero degree state. Now if I take the signal wire and I connect it to five volts, it goes uh, to negative 90 degrees. Uh, if I do it again, back and so forth. I can keep doing that. I can send it a pulse from my Arduino or something or, or other platform. Now if I take the signal line and I hold it to five volts, nothing happens until I bring it back down to zero volts. So if I send a pulse, I have to bring it low again before it actually um, before it actually enables the uh, the servo motor. So I'll do it again. I'll hold it down just to show you. The signal's high and then low again. So what happens if I power it off and I connect the jumper to high low jumper to high and I power it up? What'll happen is it will glitch when I power it up and it'll correct itself to the negative 90 degree angle. So as opposed to starting off at the zero state it's actually going negative 90 degrees and then the operation is still the same you can toggle back and forth that's just in case you want to start it in the, the different state now what if I power it off and I connect right now I'm in P1 for program 1 that's momentary mode uh, and I select P2 I, I connect the P2 jumper this one's a bit more simplistic uh, you have once you once you power it up you have no control over it uh, this is sensory mode so I just power it up and it just continues to do that so its function is very 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 simple um, I'm going to be making some uh, more interesting and certainly more involved servo motor controllers in the future using a better processor I'm using the PIC-10 right now never been a fan of using the PIC-10 but it is neat for small and inexpensive uh, projects such as this so what I'll be doing is this is that will actually be a uh, I'm actually going to unplug it this will be a uh, stretch goal on my current Kickstarter, which is linked below in case you're interested. Um, and uh, you can actually find more information on that if you click on the Kickstarter link. But yeah, I'll be giving this away as a, as a, uh, a stretch goal if I meet my stretch goal in DIY kit form. In which case, the end user will be able to put this simple kit together, and all you need is a soldering iron. And really, it only takes about 10 minutes to put together. It will come with uh, female to male wire connectors to connect between the uh, servo motor driver pins because different servo motors have different wire routes so I wanted to make it so that you could use th three wires to easily connect to any servo motor. Now servo, certain servo motors will have different uh, pulse widths to bring to different angles but they're usually pretty universal so it should if you're not using the, the, uh, the micro server that I'm giving away in the Kickstarter um, then you might find it's a little bit off with a different servo motor, but it should be uh, it should be pretty universal. In any case, uh, thanks for watching. The, the uh, assembly video will come soon. Uh, again, check out the Kickstarter if you have time. It's a neat little Kickstarter for a uh, a little alarm system slash servo motor control system using a 4x4 keypad matrix processor board. Take care, everyone, and thanks again for watching.